Hello and welcome back to my channel. Glory to Jesus, honor to Mary and Joseph. Caleb, a 29-year-old young man from the United States, gave a powerful testimony about his journey to the Catholic Church during the Way of the Cross at World Youth Day. Caleb told the story about his troubled past, including a wounded relationship with his father, his parents' divorce, and his struggles with drug addiction, depression, and self-harm. He said his relationship with his now wife led him to seek fullness in Christ. The Lord heard my cries and he sent me the most beautiful gift, one who would eventually become my bride. Caleb and his wife then became involved in a Protestant church. He began teaching the faith to students which led him to conduct his own research into the early church. He then realized the true presence of Jesus in the Eucharist and converted to Catholicism. To make a very long story short, John 6, Jesus and the Eucharist, is what brought me home into full communion with the Catholic Church. I feel a deep pain and yet at the same time a great joy. The reality of my life is that I am one of the last lost sheep that Jesus came running after. I grew up in a very broken household with a father who didn't really realize his what identity in Christ and was severely broken. As a result of his wounds, he wounded others and one of my escapes from whom life was always being a church. It felt as if it was my home away from home. I was raised in various different Christian traditions, but I always had a desire with my soul for more. I wanted that encounter with Jesus everywhere around me seemed to be having, but I wasn't having for myself. Little did I know, looking back through all of that, he was right by my side. Approaching my high school graduation, my parents went through a horrendous divorce and it just spiraled out of control. I sank deep into depression, struggled with self-harm because became a very drug addict and I really had a desire to end my life. I let the pain lead me to embracing all the selfish desires that were within me. Everything I had known was gone. I had no sense of direction. My head was in such a dark place from the pain, and I had searched for a reason to live. The Lord heard my cries, and he sent me the most beautiful gift, one who would eventually become my bride. Once I met my wife, I found a reason to live and a desire to grow in my faith. I wanted the passion she had for Jesus, but battling the ghost of my past, it just always felt unattainable. After dating for a period of time, we separated for a while and I was forced, faced with a choice to make. I could either let Jesus take full control of my life or go back to my old habits. By his grace, I pressed on and walking in a tattoo shop, I saw those we are forgotten by society and i saw jesus in them and who he was he truly was after much healing my wife and i got back together and were eventually married we became heavily involved in our church and i was taxed with passing on the faith to our students i realized really quickly i didn't know what the faith was I started researching the early church in both biblical and historical resources. To make a very long story short, John 6, Jesus and the Eucharist is what brought me home into full communion with the Catholic Church. Now as I reflect, I have realized that the father wound that I have had has caused me to have an identity crisis. But after embracing the identity my Heavenly Father has given me, I have finally started to heal. And being united fully to Jesus in the Eucharist has brought healing to my soul. After tasting all of this word has to offer, 
Jesus truly is the only one who has satisfied me. This is an amazing story. We thank God for his conversion and we pray God to continue to guide him and to direct him and for God to help him through his wife to continue to hold on to faith until the end of the time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.